Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And in my video tonight, I'm going to show you some of my finished pieces. I get questions all the time about stuff that I've done over the years, just to, I guess, so people can kind of see and get an idea of what I've, you know, been doing. So if you can put up with my fumbling around a little bit, because some of my stuff is in notebooks and I need to pull that out. Excuse me while I reach in front of you. There we go. But anyway, so I thought I'd show you a few pieces. <clears throat> and you're going to have to bear with me because I don't remember where some of them come from. Um, I mean, I know the author, I think, but I'm not 100% sure on each book. So the first one, this is, a, I'm pretty sure, Johanna Bosford. And the unique thing about that, and see, that's the other thing I wanted to show you is what I've done with the particular piece that's different. Because you know me, I love to basically change everything I can get my hands on, except for my earlier pieces. Um, so this first piece, real quick, is, let me get my something to point with. Uh, let's see. Okay, so my first piece is, you may, well, you should recognize, it's going to look familiar, but this one came with these leaves on it. I added all these leaves over here and down here. Um, this was done in 2016. Had a lot of fun with this. I just want to show you some of the neat stuff that you can do if you use your imagination. And again, you know me, I'm always changing stuff so that I have something a little bit different. All right. Oh, this is, this is hysterical. Um, the memory on this piece is I had was just getting into coloring and I saw this particular uh, image and I really wanted it, really wanted to color it, learn coloring it the whole bit. And you can see the date, January 4th of 2016. So the funny part of this story is I color it. Now mind you, I was like really hot to trot to color this. So what happens, I picked stupid, I didn't realize I thought it was brown but I picked a stupid purple pencil. So I've got the stupid purple um, elk. I love the leaves, or leaves, the antlers on it. And then of course the birds had a lot of fun with the birds, the blending and the whole bit, didn't have any problem with that. But that's my haha -ha story because here I really was hot to trot the color, made a purple one. <laughs> okay. This one here, I um, uh, can't remember the book, I'm sorry, but it's one of the ones that just had animals in it. So it had the has the elephant in it, and I added the tree. So that was a good, a fun one to do. You can see how, you know, the squigglies are on it, added the leaves and added these trees here. But it's so funny here, and this bugs me every time I see the darn thing, I misalign the two so the elephant is in front of the tree when I really wanted it butting up right against it. So I notice it, somebody else may not notice it, but that's just me. All right, so this one is, oh, not Johanna Bosford, of course. Let's see. Uh, Elliston. It's an Elliston book. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Helen Elliston did this one. So, of course, I ended up um, adding the scoop, some of the scuba here, you know, making it longer and shorter. Added lots of bubbles on it so that they look three-dimensional. Because I think it was just this with the blue and some bubbles and I went bubble crazy. Loved it. So I like that one. All right. This one, Johanna Bosford. I actually did a video on this. 
had a ball doing this one. Got lots of hit up, hits on my video. Really, go to face not Facebook, YouTube, and look for me. Eileen Vic, I L E N E V I C K. But that's my double piece that I did. Let me take a peek. Yeah, it's on camera. Okay. Had a really fun time with this. And I added all the lines with the hooks. Um, and then, of course, I went through and did my different fish. Added the um, dark underline here. And then on this page, wanted to do something a little different and just add the blue in between. But yeah, I put in all the fish hooks. So that was that was fun. Had a great time with that. All right, moving along. This one is a Helen Elliston. Um, the original one was the, um, let's see, let me see which one that is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it was just a dog. And I went ahead, you can see the, the where it pulls away. I went ahead and added the extra astronaut and I made them, you know, I wanted to do, have them do the little kissy thing and put a star in between. Lots of fun on that one. Uh, I want to say Johanna Bosford on this one. And I added the sunset here. This was back in 2016. I would have blended that if I were doing it now. I would have blended it a lot better. Um, would have brought the purple down a little bit. I mean, I did over here, but, you know, I hate... It, to me, you should never, if you're doing a variation like this, you should never end one color to go to a next, like at a branch. It should come down a little bit. It's going to look a little more natural, just like here. But live and learn. So there's that one. Um, oh, this one was a hoot. And I've done a video on this. Is I went ahead, I added the moon. I added the... Um, light here for the uh, lighthouse. I added the sand, the rocks, the anchor. Um, I added the the uh, wheel to the ship. Um, added the case here. Tons of fun on this. Like I said, I, I did a video on this. So if you're curious as to how I did that, then you can see the video. This one is out of my cat's book. This was an interesting project to do. And if you see, I went ahead and used uh, shading underneath the yarn ball to make it look uh, two dimensional, three dimensional. And then I had the blue. And then from the right, I had the yellow yarn come over here a little bit. And I had some of the blue yarn come over here. And you can see the shading that I did with the orange. So it gives it a really nice dimensional effect. So, yeah. And that was 2016 as well. This is from Mademoiselle Cats. Added the raindrops on the umbrella. Really enjoyed that too. And you know, looking at this, there's really not anything different. Oh, the only thing different that I would, well, I don't know. I carried around, you know, this pattern forward here with here. I don't know. I probably should have just done the the little bounces of water. Uh, I don't know. I keep arguing with myself every time I see it. Okay, so this is from my cats. Wait a minute, let me figure out which is which. Yep, there we go. I think I got that right, yeah. I honestly can't tell. Okay, so here are my, oh, there we go. Here are my cats, you've seen this. Enjoyable. Um, love to do the wonky uh, colors. And when I talked about this before, see how I have the gray smudge? on the hose that makes it like there's like little rips or dirt in there. And then on this particular one, I used two different shades of red. So yeah. Oh, added the bottom here, the pebbles. 
little rocks to make the walkway as well. So yeah, that worked out too. Okay, and you've seen this one that I did, did the big video on that. I won't spend a lot of time. Very enjoyable. Okay, then you've seen this one that I did the video on. She was very fun to do. Thank you guys for all the comments that I've been getting on the video about it. Great. Oh, this one is uh, Selena Fenish, and she does all of the mermaids. This turned out really well. Very much enjoyed doing this one. I enjoy most of mine. Oh, love this one. Except I put my initials in the wrong corner. I should have put them down there. So yeah, that one turned out really well too. Okay, and I just posted this for people to see. Decided to blank out some areas. I thought that would add some interest to it. Did this all in the blue, the turquoise blue, and then of course the purple with the background um, texture on here. This was done mostly a combination actually of eyeshadow <coughs> and pencil. Okay, and then you just saw this one that I posted on. Thank you for all the comments and compliments on this. Love the 3D lettering and, you know, pulling out. As I explained to you, I deliberately did the orange darker around it. I didn't try and shadow it. I, I wanted to, you know, highlight it. Oh, this is from a book called Wispy. W, W, what is it? W, Y, give me a second, give me a second, hold on. Oh, I gotta reach in front of you again, sorry. Uh, where is it? W, I think it's W, Y, S, P, Y. And what it means, I think it's either Polish or, I can't remember the language, but it means, um, islands. And the whole book, which has disappeared on me, is um, island theme. And it's a really wonderful book. I paid, it was expensive to get. I had to have it imported, but I really wanted that. Oh, here it is. W-Y-S-P-Y. -Y. These are the neatest illustrations. They just struck my fancy. Especially these. Lots and lots of fun with this one. I may do this next. And see, you can see where I got the idea for the lighthouse for my other one. Nice little book. Okay. So anyway, the neat thing about this one is that I did is that you can see the lanterns that are strung across and then held by the bird. Well, what I did when I colored this, you know, I did the blue oceans, <clears throat> is I made sure that the coloring underneath <clears throat> the lamps would be lighter. So I made it lighter all the way through, including on the island. So see, you can see the detail. It's lighter here, it's lighter here, because of course that's where the light is. Made it lighter there, and then, you know, dark here. And then of course, light in the black. And what I did with the moon, um, that moon was there, so I went ahead and threw in a reflection on the water. So I added, of course, the yellow and blue on top of that. I really enjoyed doing this one. This was fun. Okay. This one is from my little book. Um, yeah. Viva La Color Japan. I have the whiter uh, center, light blue, darker blue, darker blue, and I went ahead and added a lot of the um, uh, tree branches. So that was fun. Absolutely hate this one. I don't know why I keep it, but I do. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, 12, 23, 15, one of my first, first ones. So, yeah. But hey, it is what it is. 
same book. Here are my little fans. These are done in metallics and different colors. Enjoyed it. Um, this book, this one, I know it looks like it's not done, but artistically, you know, I did all the coloring here and then I just did the green around the background. Um, if I were to do that today, I would do the same thing, but I would blend that a lot more. Okay, so there's my other. Let me see if I can find this book real quick. Again, excuse my arm. Boy, I'm not sure which one that is now. It's one of those looks familiar and I can't remember what it is. I've got so many books here that I'm dealing. Oh, this is a neat little book too. Gnome. I actually did a piece out of that as well. All right, can't find it. Obviously, you know, Chinese and Japanese themed. Oh, this one I added a lot. So these are the tigers that were here, did the tigers. And then I added the diagonal lines and made them different colors. And I went ahead and added the little black uh, lines to indicate that they're growling at each other. It's busy, but it was fun. Uh, same book, The Lightness of the Japanese Bamboo and Fans. Didn't put any background on it. Uh, this one I was demonstrating. I did a video on this. I was demonstrating how to make the little shiny things on the um, flowers to make it look like it's reflecting and to make it the three-dimensional by the way of coloring it. Uh, this one I just posted. I need to fix the green right next to her because... When I posted it, I saw that there was a gap, which I didn't see as I was doing it. And by the way, if you want to see how your artwork looks, take a picture of it with your phone and look at it and you'll see any bobbles on it. I would have seen that that green was missing there. But people seem to like this one. Uh, this one is from the Cats book back in April of 2016. A little heavy handed on my colors, but I like it. I'm a pretty person, what can I say? Uh, let's see, that I just put in there because it was the back of something. Johanna Bosford, this is the boat. Um, this is back uh, April 16. Didn't really do anything with it. Excuse me for reaching in front of you. I uh, didn't really do anything special with it, um, except, let's see. I think, oh yeah, okay, so I left this to be light because this was open right here. So I wanted that to be light and make that lighter. So again, if you're doing colorings and you want effects like that, you can use like a darker green and then a lighter green to indicate you've got light on it. <clears throat> Enjoy doing this one. Okay. So here's the time garden, and the reason I'm getting this out is because I have two that are close to being finished. So this side's done, okay? This side isn't, got parts of it done. Outlined the windows in black, did some of the Chinese lanterns. Um, the theme of the roof carries through, so that's where that is. And let's see, oh yeah, this one. I just have to really finish up the tree and the little girl. I did some of this with metallic, so it's a mix of metallic and uh, standard pencil. So it gives a nice little shine to it. Yeah, really like that one. Um, let's see here. And there's one more I wanted to show you. Let me find it. Because... I 
haven't done a lot in this book. It's not that I don't like it, but it's just that I've got a bunch of books. So I will get to it. Talk on it. That must be in, oh, there it is. Okay, so here's what I want to show you on this one. And by the way, this is the Time Garden, okay? Um, so I'm starting on the roof, so I'm variegating the colors. But here's the big thing I want to show you is I drew in these little jagged lines here and then put the stones in there to indicate broken concrete and then colored these in gray. So I did these on the steps, see, all the way around there. Um, extended the, the cracks a little bit and went ahead and, you know, did the stones down here. Just lots of fun. And I always encourage you, please feel free and empowered to add stuff, you know, to your coloring. All right. So that's that. All right. Okay. And this is my Co Colin Thompson book. I'm still doing this one. Remember when that was all the rage? The trick to this, to me, was doing the wood first. So I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six more panels to go. But I really enjoyed this. And that brings up another point. If you're doing a page and you just stop doing it, come back to it when you can. And then date it when you're done. Uh, let's see here. I, oh, I love this. Yeah. And I started one more. I think, I think. Oh, this. Of course, Japanese Oriental. You know me. I love that. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. Oh, my gosh. Light blue here. Just light colors all the way through. Oh. I think this one's gorgeous. Let's see here. Okay, I would have bet that I had one more that I had at least started. <gasps> yep. Yeah. I'm about 98% done with this one. So this should look familiar. Love doing the door. Um, don't remember when I started, I got to blend that door a little more but I've just really enjoyed doing this. And the really neat thing about this particular book with him is that as you're coloring it, it gives you ideas of um, shading and texturing. So for example, when you're doing a roof, you can draw in little things like that. Ink them yourselves. Remember I was showing you my set of pins that I got? Um, so yeah. Yeah, so that was this one, okay. And yeah, that's it on that. All right. Um, okay. Here's the partial uh, Doodles Anonymous Epic Coloring Book. These are all authors that uh, contributed to this book, different styles. And I love this. I started to do it, didn't finish it, obviously. But basically, here you use a dark, um, okay, you'd use a dark green marker, okay, like a, like a Bic pen, Bic pen, um, paper mate pen, and then color in with your matching pencil. So it gives you the really nice outline. You can see it on the red, you can particularly see it on the brown. So yeah, and look at it here. So... I want to get back to that. This is a really wonky book, but I, I love it. Some things are just not my taste, but let's see. There's another one in here I want to get my hands on. Uh, there's really some eclectic stuff in this one. Oh, this <laughs> Yeah, I'm deciding about that one. Weird. This fork and the eyeball really gets me. But anyway, I've seen this colored. It's pretty. Uh, oh, and this is the cover. Gives you an idea. Oh, and 
didn't tell me I did. Oh, there it is. This one's gonna be fun too. You gotta really, some of these, you gotta really look at what's going on. So if you look at that, you've got a little girl with a light shining on her. She's got a light, but look at this. She's underwater, right? With a fish. So I gotta really think about the coloring with this because if you do the light like a yellow and this a yellow, but you're underwater. So what I'm thinking right now is the water is going to be one shade and then this will be a lighter shade of it because that's where the light is. So I just got to think that through. But I like drawings like this because you puzzle through them and then you decide, you know, what you want to do with them. Okay, now I'm really going to have to ask you to bear with me because, because, because. I started to put my colorings in a binder like this. It's a scrapbook, actually. But I don't particularly like it. So I've actually, I just got off the phone with Dick Flick, or not off the phone, but I went ahead and placed an order for their presentation book. And I like that a lot better. I mean, it just, it compacts everything. So... All right, so if you're still with me, um, Johanna Bosford on this one. This one was an involved tutorial because I added all these on the top. The um, anchor, the octopus, the rocks I hand drew in, made the sand, you know, colored the sand in the bottom, fun. Okay, this guy is a two-pager. Sorry for the shine, but you get the general idea. Yeah. So I went through and did the um, color sweep of the medium blue in the beginning, the green at the top, or in the, yeah, the green on the top, and then the darker blue in the bottom. Really enjoyed doing that one. So there's that one. Had fun with my dragon. This is another version of this because I, like I said, I did a tutorial on this and I wanted to have a finished one so that my audience could see what it was going to look like. And there's, you know, the famous two mermaids. Oh, this one. Okay. So this one was a... Um, I think it's a Johanna Bosford, but I cut it out. See, this right here I cut out and I put on put it on, um, oh, I put some paper behind it and then I colored it all blue. And then this is actually a mermaid from Selena Finish that I traced. So that was, I constructed that whole page to color it. And I thought that would be cool, too. I may do a tutorial on something like this that was fun to do. All right, here's my little gnome guy. I showed you that book of gnomes earlier. Let's see. Oh, and on that one, I don't know if you noticed, but I made this brighter, and then I made this very light in the background because I wanted this to come out. Okay, so yeah, Johanna Bosford again. Um, oh, this is my own drawing. Did that for a client from a picture as I did that one too. So that's my original artwork. And that's it on that. Okay. So let me put that away real quick. And then the last thing that I'm going to bore you with is um, this book. This is an original sketch that I did, drawing, portrait. Enjoyed that. Uh, this is from that one book that is nothing but cats, Creative Haven. 
I believe it was. Yeah, Creative Cats. So I did quite a few of those. Let me get you lined up. Fun. These are okay, but oh my gosh, there's just so much on one page. I I have mixed feelings about it. Um, it's okay, but it just, it's busy. It's very busy. If that doesn't bug you, that's fine. This is one of my earlier ones too. I didn't, oh yes, I did. January 14, 2016, where I, you know, used the blending to make the waves whiter at the top. Obviously, I did a, quite a few of them from this book. Um, yeah, the three dolls. By the way, guys, when you're doing coloring, consider putting in some African-American things. I did this with the one doll because I put a little African-American doll in there. Just a good thing to do. And that's, oh, this one from the same book. I went ahead and I made my own um, stained glass pattern in the background. Stained glass is really easy to do. You basically just do a shape and then you just color around that, darken a little bit around the outside of it. This guy is from, I don't know, it's one of those cheap books that you pick up in the dollar store, which I'm sorry, I don't know the title, but the paper is awful, but you know, nice little drawing, so I did that. Oh, here's Wispy again. Fun. Added my own sun behind there, sunset. Um, put on white to make the water splashing. Let's see, let me make sure. I'm, yeah, hindsight being 2020, I probably would have put the darker in the bottom and the lighter at the top, but that's okay. Um, this is just a for fun book, mindless coloring, is that they're all numbered squares and they they match. You match a pencil color with the number, so in other words, they show you the purple for 12, so you find a purple, and then wherever 12 shows up, you color it. So, very repetitive on that, but I didn't want to think about what I was doing. Okay, and these are the little mice. Um, again, sorry, I'm, I'm blanking on the title, but uh, you probably recognize that this is just so fun. Oh! And this little splotch wasn't here. I added that. So it would be like melting popsicle. Okay. And I think, oh, no. And here's one of those books again where you match the color to the dot and it produces a picture. So the whole point is you don't know what the picture is while you're doing it. So that's, that's the fun part. Um... Yeah, and that's supposed to be white because there's no number on it. All right, there's my cats again. I'm glad I dated these. Um, these, I think, were my earlier, so around two, December of 2015 is when I started this stuff. All right, this one, grayscale. I did not draw that portrait, but I did color it. And of course, my critical eye, you know, blending issues right there. It's too streaky. Um, this one is one that I started of my cat. My, she's, he is deceased now, but it's just a really neat picture that I have of him. And I'm going to be working on that too. That's when I was working on outlining stuff and doing coloring and seeing how that would go. So yeah, practice. Okay, and this is either from Daydreams or Summer Nights um, by Hannah uh, Carlson. I wanted to indicate, 
um, glass. So I did a light blue, light, you know, white, light blue. And then I did, again, don't you, I think that's from her, Hannah, as well. There's a Selena Fenish piece. I've got a number of her books. She does the mermaids and this stuff. Um, I don't remember if I added that moon or not. Um, let's see. No, I don't think I did. Already there. So, but what I did is I added the reflection and I, the trees were just very plain. So I drew black lines in them to indicate bark and then colored them in. And then I did the clouds, excuse me, the, the trees in the darker green, lighter, lighter as it got to the moon. So I, I enjoy these. This one has a little funny story. Um, I thought that this was a fairy up in a tree and it's not. It's a fairy on a floor, on a forest floor. So I had to kind of adjust and make um, oranges out of these when in fact they should have been mushrooms. So that's okay. Let's see, I didn't date that one. All right, interesting story <clears throat> Story about this one. Um, this one here, I added the floorboards. I added a few of the candles here. Those are drawn in by me. I added some more flowers coming up the side. And I drew this pattern. I emulated it behind the fin so that it makes the fin look transparent. So I thought that was really cool. That was just, again, you know me, I like to change the pictures, change them up a little bit and do something a little different with them. But I will emphasize again, this is not a hard stuff, especially if you follow my direction and my technique, and then you can work on your own technique. Floorboards, very simple. Lines, and then squiggles. All right, this one, Selena Finish. I drew the moon, so the moon was here, okay, the top part, but I finished, I brought the moonscape through, okay, and now it looks like that this is clear all the way through. Is that not neat? Very simple addition to that drawing. Okay, this is just a practice piece, that's a practice piece. I think I'm done. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's not everything I've done, of course. But again, a number of you have been asking me to show some of the stuff that I've done. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to do it. If you have any questions, contact me. Also, don't forget to subscribe to me. That way you can see all this stuff. But I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And the main thing that I hope that you pick up on this is that this is not hard stuff. So let me pull you in a little bit. There you go. This is not hard stuff to do. These changes are not hard to do. It's just... It's just fun stuff to do. All right, guys, this is Eileen Vick for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough. Have a great evening. Have fun coloring. And until next time, bye.